Hello, Froggy here, and today I'll be showing you how to explore a bit of the last city outside of the tower. Towards the end of the campaign, you'll come across this grav lift, and if you move far to the back on this platform, you'll find you can jump over to the rooftops. And that'll just about get you out. It's pretty neat to get out this way, because usually our interaction with the city is somewhat limited, even though we're supposed to be having quite a big impact on it. You can walk through a lot of these structures. They are actually intangible, which makes sense since you're not supposed to ever get out here. This is, of course, a vision of the city in the future, where the walls have been expanded and humanity has pretty much recovered from its previous collapse. As opposed to the dark timeline that you also see in this campaign segment, where there is a second collapse. It's kind of weird over here. The water seems to be more of a height thing, so even though you don't see an, any uh, over here, you still get the water effects, and you can't swim, so you'll definitely want to turn around if you see that. But yeah, it is quite nice being able to just walk out here and enjoy the skybox and all of that good stuff you'd normally be breezing past. Speaking of breezing past, let's speed that up a little bit. So just to show you what happens if you do spend too long in the water. Luckily we set a respawn point pretty recently so we can just keep going from here. Still just sort of making my way towards the edge. Huh. Can't seem to get up this hill. I guess we're gonna have to go around. And hopefully we don't have to go to the very edge. Maybe if we jump a lot. Oh yeah, there we go. And it looks like we're pretty much at the edge. I don't know if it'll kick us back up top if we fall all the way to the true edge, so... I'm not gonna push my luck just yet. Let's see if there's anything interesting along it. There's still some structures past where the... Wait, what? Huh. Looks like collision in the grass is not quite lining up. I'm gonna... I'm gonna head this way. But yeah, most things seem to be intangible, including, I guess, the terrain further out? But there are some solid objects. Like these bridge things. So you can just walk along the base. And... I guess up here, too, we can go across this entire thing like a giant bridge. I've definitely had some structures that if I kind of walked on the glass-looking part, it would freak out and send me through the ground. Oh, more intangible stuff. Yeah. We can go pretty much up to any of the buildings that you would normally see in the distance. Although... The vast majority of them will be intangible. With limited exceptions. After a fair bit of walking, we've made it to another one of those kind of bridge structures. They're one of the main things that's tangible around these parts. Apart from the terrain you're walking on for the most part. Can see that is in fact solid. And we can walk right up this side a bit of it. See, there's a little bit of ground we just came up through. But yeah, I think this might be heading towards one of the taller points. Hopefully we'll get a nice vantage point and 
I guess that building wasn't much of a problem either. Don't think we can climb the skyscrapers. But you can use these bridges to transition onto other areas. I think we've got another bridge coming up. I'm not sure if the monorails are solid. Oh, that one might be a bit taller. I think we're pretty much at this next bridge. Let's see if we can make the transfer. Oh yeah, yeah so this is that weird glass stuff I was talking about. You just kind of slide around and then through it. Very odd. Well, I guess we'll need to get on the side that's closer to where we're jumping off. But first... Oh. I guess those are solid too. Neat. Now that's get back to where we were. I really want to see if those monorails are solid, because they'd be a kind of interesting way to traverse the city. Hmm. I think we can do a little bit better than that. Ooh, there we go. So even if the rail is not solid, I should land on the bridge below it. Well, so much for the railing. Or at least that section of it. I'm just about at the next drop target here. Those kind of domed buildings we ran into earlier. The one we hit was solid, so... Maybe this one will be as well. Or not. Kind of thought maybe since the other one was solid, they might all be, but... Maybe just the repping parts? Nope, walked right through that too. Eh. Can't win them all. But what's this? Seems at least part of the monorail system is solid, so let's go check that out. Anyways, I managed to find another bridge that lines up with one of those monorail support structures. Let's see, we're coming across one right here. And I think it should be possible to just drop onto that. And there we go. It's solid. I don't think this is going to continue past the support. But only one way to find out. Yep. Oh well. Let's go up one more time. This one looks pretty steep. Really hard to judge which one is actually the tallest, but... I gotta say, the view from the top of this one is pretty nice. Shame we can't climb the tower itself. Let's see where this archway takes us. Straight through that building. This will probably be intangible, too. Always a bit unnerving going through walls like that, because you don't quite know if it's going to continue past them, like... Maybe we can drop on that. Nope. And I guess that's where our traversal ends. Kind of neat seeing the... kind of, uh, map contours underneath. That looks like it's quickly fading. 
So far, I've not seen any evidence of this falling stops. I've let go for, say, 20 minutes at a time, and while that chromatic aberration can get pretty extreme, at this point, you don't really see much other than the cycling between light and dark. But who knows? Maybe there is an end. Let me know if you find that out for yourself. And in the meantime, I hope you have fun exploring Talos Principle 2. And I'll see you back in Destiny.